What if I told you your NVIDIA GPU has hidden performance potential that you're probably not using? Even if you've already tweaked your in-game settings or messed around with the control panel, there's a more advanced tool that most gamers don't touch, and it can seriously level up your gameplay. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to unlock these hidden features to boost frame rates, reduce input lag, and even enhance graphics, all without upgrading your hardware. Step 1. Install NVIDIA Profile Inspector advanced GPU control panel. To kick things off, we need a powerful utility called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. This tool unlocks dozens of advanced GPU driver settings that you can't access through the regular NVIDIA control panel. Think of it like developer mode for your graphics card. Here's how to get it safely and set it up. Open your browser and search for NVIDIA Profile Inspector GitHub ORBMU2K. This will lead you to the official project page. Click on the link that leads to GitHub. Make sure it's from ORBMU2K for authenticity and safety. On the GitHub page, scroll down to the latest release section. You'll see a .zip file there. Download it. Once the download finishes, right-click the zip and extract its contents. We recommend extracting it directly to your desktop or somewhere easy to access. Inside the folder, you'll find an executable file called nvidiaprofileinspector.exe. This app doesn't need to be installed. It runs as a portable program, which means it doesn't change anything unless you explicitly apply changes. Step two, back up your current GPU settings, just in case. Before we start tweaking anything, it's smart to create a backup of your current NVIDIA driver settings. This gives you a safety net. If you ever want to undo changes or run into a problem, you can easily restore everything back to how it was. Here's how to do it. Launch NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Just double-click the .exe file you extracted earlier. At the top of the window, look for the drop-down that says Global Driver Profile, Base Profile. Make sure this is selected. In the top right corner of the window, click on the icon that looks like a disk. This is the Export User Profile button. When prompted, save the file somewhere easy to find. Your desktop is a great choice. Name it something clear like GPU underscore backup underscore settings dot nip. That's it. Now you have a full snapshot of your current settings. If you ever want to restore your settings, open Profile Inspector again. Click the Import User Profile button right next to the export icon. Select your save.nip backup file. Click Apply Changes at the top to reapply all original settings instantly. This step only takes a minute but gives you total peace of mind for the rest of the optimization process. Step three, understanding profiles, global versus game specific. Before we start changing any settings, it's important to understand how profiles work inside NVIDIA Profile Inspector, because where you apply a setting really matters. There are two main types of profiles you'll see. Global driver profile. This is the default profile at the top of the drop-down menu. Any changes made here will apply to every game and 3D application on your system. Think of it as your system-wide baseline. Game-specific profiles. These are individual profiles for each game or program. To access them, click the drop-down next to the Global Driver Profile and scroll or search for a specific title. For example, Counter-Strike 2, The Finals, or whatever game you want to customize. Changes made here only affect that one game, leaving all others untouched. If you're not sure which to use, here's a simple rule. Use global for broad performance improvements that you want across the board. Use game-specific if a certain title needs unique tweaks, like disabling VSync in one game, but not another. For this video, we'll stick mostly with the global driver profile, so all the optimizations we apply will improve performance across all your games, especially useful if you don't want to repeat the process for every title. Step 4. Essential settings for better performance. Let's walk through performance-focused settings you should consider adjusting. G-Sync settings. If you don't use G-Sync, set everything to off or force off. G-Sync application mode off. G-Sync global feature off. G-Sync indicator overlay off. If you do use G-Sync, match settings to your preferences. Application mode match your control panel, full screen or windowed. Global feature on, overlay optional helps you see if G-Sync is active. Low latency mode, GPU-bound games set to Ultra. Recommended global settings, preferred refresh rate, highest available, vertical sync, force off, 
FXAA, off. Texture filtering, anisotropic filter optimization on, sample optimization on, mode, user defined off, quality, high performance, trilinear optimization on, optional. Texture LOD bias for visual tweaks. Want to fine tune visuals? You can adjust the LOD bias per game. Higher values, plus three. Lower quality, better performance. Lower values, minus three. Sharper visuals, slightly heavier on the GPU DLSS tweaks for RTX users only. If you downloaded the custom DLSS settings, here's what they do. Force DLAA. DLSS works at native resolution, boosting visuals instead of FPS. Custom presets, AG. Change the DLSS image quality. Presets C or F usually provide the best balance. Forced scaling ratio. Manually override DLSS rendering resolution. Example. Use 0.8x for slightly higher quality versus performance. These features only work on DLSS 3.1.1 plus supported games. Some DLSS 2.0 games can be manually upgraded. Search for DLSS file replacement methods. Step 4. Resizable bar. Rebar. Turn it on if your system supports it. Resizable bar, or rebar for short, is a relatively new GPU feature that can boost performance by allowing your CPU to access your GPU's full memory buffer instead of in small chunks. It's supported on most modern NVIDIA GPUs and motherboards, but not always enabled by default. Here's how to check if your system supports rebar. Right-click on your desktop and open the NVIDIA control panel. In the top menu, click Help, System Information. Look for a line that says Resizable BAR in the details. If it says yes, you're good to go. If it says no, your hardware might not support it, or it may need to be enabled in your BIOS. If your system supports it, inside NVIDIA Profile Inspector, make the following changes. RBAR feature enabled. RBAR options 1. RBAR size limit 0x4. These settings ensure rebar is active and optimized for supported titles. Per game performance boosts. For games that need specific tuning, search for the game in Profile Inspector. Set frame rate limiter, V3, EG, cap the finals to 144 FPS. Enable slash disable G-Sync, resizable bar, DLSS, etc. on a per title basis. MSI Utility Mode, lower input latency, one of the easiest and most effective tweaks. Search for MSI Utility V3 Guru 3D. Download and extract the tool. Right-click the .exe, run as administrator, scroll to your GPU entry, and enable MSI mode, apply and reboot. This switches your GPU from line-based interrupts to message signal-based, often improving latency and stability. Wrapping up, you've now unlocked a whole new layer of customization for your NVIDIA GPU. From FPS boost to visual tweaks to lower input latency, whether you're a competitive gamer or just want the best visuals possible, these tools give you the power to tailor your setup exactly how you want it. Just remember, back up your settings before you change anything. Use at your own risk. What works for one setup may not work for another. Let me know in the comments which settings work best for your system, or if you've discovered your own tweaks worth sharing. For more advanced optimizations, check out the rest of the playlist on the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.